Hey what's up guys, it's Ozzy here. So today is comic book pickup episode number 36. So this was actually meant to be two separate hauls, but I've been so backed up with a bunch of stuff to do including school, work, and a whole bunch of other things that I actually didn't get to film the one from a couple weeks ago. So this is the most recent one and that one combined for one episode instead of two. Just a little forewarning. Um, so that means there will be a lot of issues in this pickup. Alright, so basically the first comic I got was Action Comics by uh, from Superman. And uh, it's actually the Oz Effect Part 3. It's uh, $1 more than a regular issue just because it is a lenticular cover, as you guys can probably see that. So you get Jor-El with uh, Krypton blowing up and then Superman, I think he's holding Earth. So that's a really, really cool cover and that's pretty much the main reason why I got it. Then I got Batman issue number 33. Batman is a really good DC title. If you guys aren't reading it by now, you definitely need to. But um, this cover, it's... It's decent, that's what I'll say. It's, he's basically just riding a horse, as you guys can clearly see. Uh, nothing crazy and too special about this one. Then I got Justice League issue number 31. And uh, if you guys haven't seen the Justice League movie by now, I definitely recommend to watch it. I know it's been getting a lot, and I mean a lot, of bad reviews. But it wasn't as bad as people are thinking. It was actually really, really entertaining. There's just some things like characters getting like really short introductions and stuff like that. But other than that, it was a really entertaining movie. But I have the issue right here. So I think I said 31. Yep, 31. The cover, you know, you got Batman and the Justice League members on there. It looks really, really good. Then I got The Flash, issue number 32. One of my favorite DC titles especially for Rebirth Ever, and uh, I really, really like it, and I love the direction they're going with it. So you can see kind of Barry in a jail with uh, the Flash's shadow there. And I totally just realized this right now, but I actually bought the Flash issue number 32 twice. Uh, I don't know why, and I don't know how I did that, but I guess I have two issues now, so yeah. Then I got The Flash, issue number 34, so this one is a tie-in to Bats Out of Hell. Uh, this is a really, really cool cover, so you get the Dark Knight's metal uh, flash on the top there with the Rebirth Flash. Next up is the Dark Knight's metal uh, Batman the Red Death, so this one's really, really cool. It's got the Dark Knight's metal flash on there. It's a very, very shiny cover. I really, really like it. Um, I, to be honest, I haven't been reading it. I want to get the graphic novel and read it all in one go. So I'm not exactly 100% sure what's going on in the story right now. But this cover looked amazing and I could not pass it up. Next up is Batman issue number 34. So you can clearly see the cover art was definitely influenced by the Justice League movie. As, uh, pretty much everyone, Batman looks, uh, like slightly... Slightly slightly different from the movie. He looks like a combination from the movie and the comic book Other than that the other characters look directly from the movie. So uh, I really like this cover actually It's pretty cool and uh, obviously Batman as I said earlier great title to read then I have Justice League issue number 32 I know some of these are a little out of order because I think I said Justice League issue number 34 at the beginning of the video or something, but uh, yeah, they've just been in a pile and I haven't really uh, sorted them all out, so I'm sorry for that. But this cover is probably one of my favorite Justice League covers, uh, especially recently. So you see all of the characters, all Justice League movie movieized, if that's a term I can use. But uh, I really like that, the yellow background. It's also a tie-in to Bats Out of Hell or the Dark Knight Metal story. I'm not 100% sure, but this cover is very, very awesome. Alright guys, so the next stuff I'm going to show you is actually free comics that they were giving out at my local comic book store. So without further ado, let's take a look at those. So we get Batman issue number one. So this is obviously not going to be worth anything as it is free, as you can see on uh, the one there. But I already have this issue, but it was nice to get it for free. And also it's a different cover variant as well, so I don't know, it'll look cool in my collection I guess. Then I got Thanos and Hulk. I'm not exactly sure uh, what this story is really about other than Thanos and Hulk. 
But uh, if you guys have read it, leave a comment below. And uh, the cover art is okay. It uh, definitely looks like something from the cartoons that they put out, but uh, not bad. I gotta say, it's pretty decent. Let me just take a quick look through here. So this is the kind of art you're going to be getting in this one. Uh, it's it's okay. Then I got Venom Space Knight issue number one. So this one's pretty cool. I definitely want to check out what this was all about. And uh, I've heard that it's decent, so I might give it a quick read. All right, this next one, I'm not 100% sure what it's really going to be about. Like, it's Street Fighter. I have played the video games and all that, but I'm not sure if the comics have, like, some big story going on or something. Like, I don't know. I just smash the buttons and beat people up in the game. I don't really know any of the backstory on characters or anything like that. But uh, when I'm bored or maybe going to the bathroom, I'll bring this and I'll take a quick read. And the last stuff is basically just some preview stuff, so we get some uh, Marvel Legacy preview book here. DC Graphic Novel Essentials for 2018, so I might take a look at this and uh, possibly buy some of the graphic novels that I want, especially for around Boxing Day and Christmas time. And then I got another Marvel Legacy Spotlight free thing where they basically just show you a bunch of issues that have come out. So guys, that was episode number 36. I got a ton of comic books and previews and all these things. So I'm pretty happy with that pickup. That was basically two pickups in one there. So that explains why it was on steroids and very, very big. But once again, guys, thanks for watching these comic book pickups. I honestly didn't think people were really going to like them, but you guys seem to be loving them. So I'll definitely continue to make them because they are really fun to do. And I always get to show off some really cool stuff that I find and hopefully get some of you guys to read some comic books if you haven't already. And also leave a comment below of what you guys thought about the Justice League movie and what the current, what your current favorite comic book title is. I don't know why I couldn't speak there, but you got what I'm saying. So I'm going to say this again. Thank you for watching and make sure you guys subscribe, leave a comment, maybe even a like, whatever. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.